In the next transducer position, we're going to scan the rectus femoris tendon, the direct uh, uh, tendon uh, at the uh, anterior inferior iliac spine. And we're going to place the transducer on the uh, rectus femoris muscle, which uh, is appearing here as an oval shape uh, structure, and then following this muscle to uh, proximal. Uh, and then if we are reaching uh, the uh, hip joint area and also the anterior inferior iliac spine area, we will see that the uh, cross-sectional area will become smaller and smaller uh, and until the rectus femoris becomes uh, indeed uh, tendinous. So here we can see the uh, hip joint, this is uh, the femoral head and the rectus femoris is uh, really uh, close and is uh, inserting to the uh, anterior inferior uh, spine. So uh, here we can see the hip joint. This is the uh, femoral head right there and the anterior inferior iliac spine is sloping up right there and you can see the uh, hyperchoic uh, tissue right here. This is indeed the rectus femoris tendon and what we are going to do is uh, we will uh, slide with the transducer from medial to lateral in order to see the full origin at the uh, inferior iliac spine. Uh, we're going to observe for any tendinous changes of the, uh, uh, the, the, the tendon, uh, the direct tendon, and of course also signs of avulsion uh, uh, or calcifications in this area. So we're going to search for any uh, 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 hyperchoic reflections in this tendinous area. Um, the tendon might also be more hyperchoic due to uh, a tendinopathy and maybe the tendon uh, can also show some uh, tearing, some partial tearing, which would leave a anechoic zone within uh, the tendon. Uh, the direct tendon can be seen, the indirect tendon cannot be seen. So uh, that is a little bit difficult in this position because uh, uh, due to its obliquity, it's uh, fully anisotropic and it's uh, hard to see. For that, we have a different uh, position. Um, yes, so after having checked the, uh, the tendon itself, we can go back to uh, transverse view and then uh, search uh, for the quadriceps uh, and do a check of the rectus femoris muscle belly itself and following the rectus femoris down to knee level. And then uh, no, don't only observe the muscle fibers of the rectus femoris but also for the internal tendon which uh, can be observed uh, right there uh, which uh, is the uh, combination of the indirect tendon and also partly the direct tendon as an aponeurotic expansion flowing into the muscle belly.